a parent ready to shell out thousands of dollars for your kid's college tuition this year or your student about to take on a hundred grand in debt? This story is for you. That sounds like so much, but as <laughs> tuition soars, some corporations are dropping their degree requirements. Fox News correspondent Caroline Shively asks students, professors, and employers, is college still worth the cost? And the answers might surprise you. College math has always been pretty simple. If you spend four years here, you get one of these, then one of these, and it all adds up to a whole lot of this. But there's another line in that equation you can't forget the debt. I'm at first, I look at it and I'm like, wow, this is a lot of money. And then I say, it's monopoly money. It's Money is fake. It's just some paper. I'll pay it off eventually, I hope. Or I'll die with it. So, is college worth the cost? Maybe not. A trade school degree has the potential to put more money in your pocket. Last year, the median annual salary of a new college graduate was $52,000, according to the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. But the Association for Career and Technical Education found in 2021, graduates with associate's degrees in technical or applied science fields made two to $11,000 more a year than those with bachelor's degrees. Entry-level elevator mechanics bring home 39 to 79,000. Aircraft mechanics can make 40 to 61,000, and radiology technicians can make up to 91,000. The marketing message has been since the 1970s that college is the best way to success. Well, here's the reality: the data says otherwise. That's a bunch of garbage. Someone with an average salary may pay $621 per month to pay off that four-year degree. But for a two-year degree, those payments could drop to $436. Another factor, employers like Bank of America, IBM, and Google have dropped their four-year degree requirements for many positions. I think while many look down on community college to begin with, I think the mindset is starting to change and many are looking at community college as a viable alternative. A Wall Street Journal NORC poll found that 56% of Americans think a college degree just isn't worth it. Ten years ago, that number stood at only 40%. In Washington, Caroline Shively, Fox News.